happy six months to me we have made it and i actually like really well i mean i can believe it because i was very adamant about doing this but at the same time it's just like wow the process of doing it is just like i can't believe it i have a day planned out for myself i want to go to the movies specifically cinema cafe i want to do that for myself and i want to talk about all the things that have happened from the three month period to now as well as just like how i've been feeling and i guess i'll kind of like do that throughout but like first let's let's get up and let's get dressed okay so you guys probably remember like last time um it was like late summer and i was wearing like the very cute like you know pink dress the blonde wig like you know what it was giving it was giving barbie totally totally stark opposite difference and these plus size pantyhose Boop. okay so these are these actually don't like fit fit not where i want them to fit like i need them to kind of like tuck in because i hate chub rug but it's okay i have something for that it's so hard for me to find pantyhose that like fit me you know, just to have a fat ass, you know? But it's always like tight right here. And it's like, I think I get a big size or a big pair. It's just still never enough. I have never worn this skirt out. You probably remember it from the last Gian haul video that I did. And I've actually still never worn this out, but I'm going to wear it out today because it's on theme. Wear it out. I'm starting to feel a little hot. Mm, it's supposed to be kind of warm outside, but I do want to wear this shirt. I've been so hesitant about pattern mixing, but because it's still like cold outside, I'm gonna wear this brown under thing. So, mm. this outfit I didn't show you guys in the in the Shein haul video just because. I didn't have them, they were in the wash, but these are the gray leg warmers that I have. No, I'm gonna wear them today. Ignore my messy room. That's what I got going on so far. Now we're gonna move on to hair. Most of y'all probably don't know this, or if you've seen it in the previous video, then you do know this. But I got a silky press, participating in silk press season yesterday was a rainy day and i also like went to the gym worked out so my hair did get like messed up I think it's like week three for me and i have messed up this hair like so many times and usually like to fix it it's like i'll blow dry it out and then i will put like rollers in it to get like the bounce back in so we'll see like how it turned out if not then we're kind of cheating today So, so far it looks like it kind of got the bounce back into it. Let's brush it out to see. What I like to do lately is like, I like to give it a little, a little flick to get a little backwards bounce. It's doing it, it's just, I can feel the fuzziness and I don't like that. So I am gonna cheat a little bit guys. This is after I went and just like blue dried it. Then I just, you know, recurled it and then brushed it back out. It is kind of hot in here, so I might have to go to the <laughs> the winter region of the house, but it's nothing crazy. I don't try to put like heavy heat like on it. Like it's just like low heat just to, like to get it curled and just to get like the bounce back in it. Like once I put rollers back in it, like tonight for sure, for sure this time, it should definitely like, do its thing like on its own like without any more manipulation or anything like that and this is the final look well i've been wanting to do kind of like an elfish look i don't know if you guys can peep the ears but like a little elfish look for the winter time and so that's just kind of like the style that i've been into so i've been doing it um but yeah, that's the face. Wait till you see the fit. Okay, 
so what are we doing today we are going to the movies i'm going to see black adam i did personally want to see that in movie theaters and i also still just love going to the movies by myself i don't know it actually became like a thing that i wish i would have continued doing so we're actually like running behind i think so this is my fit I think I'm in here by myself the again. But y'all know I love that. Last time I kind of did love that though. The world of Avatar. It's like I liked Only it, but I didn't like it. Animal Kingdom. But I don't think this movie's supposed to be scary. So. They have this cute little commercial going on like before the previews, and like, bitch, I'm about to cry. I've been so emotional lately. And I can't cry on camera. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. I got donuts. Before we do anything else, let's get into the movie. I don't know what y'all were looking for with black adam but it was not a bad movie it was really funny and i feel like though it did not like connect connect with everything else i just feel like i don't know i just feel like it touched on a subject that doesn't get talked about enough like in terms of just like how to protect and defend a country so I've decided to set the intention and the vibe for today. It's a little different from last time because I didn't really want to sit outside in the cold because it's not warm anymore. So I thought we could use some pretty lighting. So these past couple of months. So as soon, pretty much like a week after the last video was like done and posted, I was going through it. Like the rest of, what's it called? Yeah, the rest of September, like I felt so bad. And I was just assuming that it was just like the fourth, the fourth month like just hitting me and like being so long without, a, without an, extra an external person to kind of just like piggyback off of and kind of like, I guess the burden of like being me and like dealing with me, like not that there's anything wrong with me, but it's just like, supporting me you know i usually put that on another person and so like when it was still just me and me it was like i just kind of went into like panic mode nothing bad happened i just had to figure out how to get through it the only thing i knew what to do was just to keep pushing on and to keep making content and to keep doing whatever it is that i was doing like it, it was really rough and when we get into October, I kind of shifted a bit. It was like I was still going through it, but like then I was finally starting to process some things. Or that's what it felt like. And like the boohooing that I was doing, that I was talking about in the last video, it was just like I was really starting to process things. And people who had done me wrong, how I grew up and like my family life and what my childhood was like was really all starting to hit me and I just had to let that hit me and it was like moments in the car where I would just scream and I would just yell and I would just cry because I just felt so angry I just felt like I wasted a lot of time and I guess like now that I'm thinking about it, I just realized I like I didn't have to go through that. Like life didn't have to be like that. And that made me mad. And I think there's like a lot of positive things that you could say like to contradict that, to make that I guess seem better, but it's just like I'm a big believer in like things are what they are. There are some people who are just like nothing faces them and like 
everything's hunky door like or everything can be turned around or it's just like yeah that happened but i try to see the positive i think i'm just a realistic person and i'm just like right now things are shitty and right now i am upset and so i'm gonna go ahead and be upset and so when i was whenever i was feeling that i let myself feel that i let myself be angry i let myself be disappointed i let myself feel betrayed i let myself feel abandoned because i'm starting to realize that like when you're a kid and those things are going on i don't think like at that time you really have time to sit in your feelings and like sort that out like you end up having to push along and you don't like sometimes people need more time to sort through things and, and work through things and process things than others some people can like you know feel it and move on but like some people they need time to, to sit with that and just really figure out like what happened and think about like what they're gonna do going forward i think i'm just one of those people i probably just needed a lot of time to sit through things and sort through things and be like why did that happen to me you know and i and i just don't think i i got that so it's pretty much all of it is happening now at like one time and that lasted for like pretty much all of october it was just me processing being upset about things and dealing with things yeah like i processed my dad i processed my mom i feel like i processed past relationships like i finally let myself be angry and let myself just be hurt about the things that i was really hurt about and it's the same thing as like you know crying about things you didn't get to cry about but it's just like on a more intense level like it just went deep and it was just like dang like those things happened to me and most if not all of those things that happened to me like i didn't deserve like and these people probably didn't deserve me in their lifetime but and that and on that note i'm gonna lead into something else the whole idea of like and this is just for me personally the whole idea of like people whether they deserved me or not once i was done being angry about the way that people had treated me or how i felt people had done me wrong i started to settle in more with like the universe lately i've been thinking that the journey is the journey is the journey and these people that came into my life might some of them might have been here a lot longer than they should have been these people were here for the time that they were here and they served their purpose now i think a lot of things that happened to me i, I feel like didn't need to happen for me to learn these certain things but i guess in my particular journey they did that's how i make peace with things and with that thought, like I started to realize that I feel like there's no way to really prevent things happening to me anymore. Bad things are going to happen. I feel like it's something that I guess like we all kind of get to like shit's going to happen. And it's just like how you deal with it. And in the same breath, it's kind of just like when it comes to thinking about love again and thinking about people i'm not sure that that was the last time i was gonna get like my heart hurt or my heart broken or someone's gonna stand me up or hurt my feelings i think that it's like i almost like want to let more love in and be okay with the process but now i think that it's gonna be hard to do that even though i understand that because i think it was like around also a little bit after that that i started to get comfortable with being by myself once i had like a cute little routine going i started to realize oh i'm cool like i'm really cooling by myself you know i would see things on like tiktok or like instagram of people like you know just going through it with people and like i used to like really relate to that i mean i still relate to that it's just now i'm sitting there i'm just like dang Whew, I'm really happy I'm not going to do that because that's a lot. And then I was realizing that like, ugh, like I kind of don't even want to feel that again because I don't want to get hurt or I don't want to get played with. Like I just don't want to. And it's a satisfying feeling. It's also like a sad feeling because I feel like when I do eventually like meet somebody that I like 
it's going to be a process for me to kind of like put my guard down. I was talking to a friend about it and I said, I feel like I have gone from anxious to more avoidant now, where it's just like I desperately like, you know, want someone to be with me, love on me, whatever, whatever, to now it's just like, uh, I, I don't want that because it's painful. And that makes sense. And also thinking about like previous people that I've dealt with, like I, I get it now. It's just like, why, you know, why would anybody want to do that to themselves? Like, why would you want to go through that? It, it hurts. And in my head, I'm just like, why wouldn't you want to go through that? Why wouldn't you want to be loved? Like, why wouldn't you want to let that in? Because in my head, it was just like, having somebody is like the greatest thing that you could ever, you know, have. Being with someone is the greatest thing. Like someone who loves you unconditionally. That's how I thought about it in my head. Like that is the best thing you could ever have. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't someone want that? Why would somebody run away with that? It just didn't make sense to me. Now it does because it's just the process of like being with someone, like letting somebody touch you like on a spiritual and emotional level like in a certain way that they can affect how you're doing and how you go about your life and like what you think and, and stuff like that like that's a lot so i can understand why people like avoid that i can get it also with my little routine that i have going on now doing this and doing other things i feel like i am really building something for myself which is so exciting I feel like I am constantly busy and I've never been like busy like that before. Like I always have something to do. And it's not that like, if any of my friends are watching this, you are not in my way. I love spending time with you. It's just like, it's like I have to fit, I have to like fit people into my schedule now. Where it's just like, I never really planned to be doing anything with anybody. And when so when someone asks me to hang out, I like, if I want to see them, I will move things around like and to see you because of course I want to see you. I don't ever like not want to see you or I'll be like okay with like not working like one day out of the week just so like we can spend time. Love doing that. Love it. Oh, I don't love it all the time. But that doesn't mean I don't want to hang out with you. If anybody who's watching this who I hang out with, I love hanging out with you. Don't worry. I'm always okay. If I choose to not go to work with me, you know, it's always on me because I choose to spend time with you because I love anyway i love having to feel like that <laughs> i don't know what it feels like you know i don't know i well i do know it's just my time is so precious and i'm actually using my time to do something beneficial for myself then i've never done that before usually i've spent like a lot of time kind of looking for someone to do things with now i'm just like okay with doing things by myself so that's like really cool and so that in another way that's why i also understand how people can be like avoid it and be like they don't want people to mess up like their schedules or like they have stuff going on and they don't want to get distracted by having a girlfriend or having a boyfriend or just a partner and they keep like blowing people you know like i get that how like you can say like oh i'm just so busy i don't have time for our partner right now however i still just i don't think that that's a reason to be doing people the way that people are being done like the whole like i'm just not ready for a girlfriend or like i don't have time or i'm just so busy or work is so crazy if you are really that busy because me knowing that now that i'm that busy you wouldn't be at, or you shouldn't be trying to pursue anybody because right now i see like a path that i'm making for myself i would not like to include anybody in on that path unless we are literally going in the same direction and it's not like out of my way to do that or if like i feel like they're not taking away from like what i am doing should we have to be like aligned that's how i feel right now if you are dealing with somebody and y'all are not going in the same direction but you just want to have that feeling of being like held or, or being like cuddled on like that i don't know i just don't think that's nice like you're literally taking people who are looking to be loved and you're not looking to be loved 
and you're playing with them because you got bored one day and i can understand that because every once in a while though like like i said i'm cool now with like being alone but every once in a while it does like hit me like dang i would like to be kissed on i would like to be held i would like to hold someone's hand i would like to you know ja, 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 ja. but i don't get to the point where i'm just like i feel like destroying someone else's like emotional safety or like their thoughts on like i don't feel like doing that to somebody else just for the sake for me to feel good i think that's weird i think that's weirdo energy if you're doing that stop doing that really i think that's honestly it i didn't write anything down this time so it's just like i'm kind of just like speaking off the dome right now i'm chilling i'm really proud of myself for everything that i've been doing and i'm really happy that i've had the opportunity to do something like this because i was just thinking about this before i started the camera that like not a lot of people get to decide like i'm going to take back like my years or i'm going to take some time and do for myself or if they do it they're like really struggling like i'm in such a good predicament right now where someone is able to house and home me while i work on my dreams i am in one of those periods where i am like you know thinking about like ah their journey but like six months six months for me not to even be like trying to get near a person oh jk 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 on that note people have been entering my life that's another thing i was about to say how like lately i've been kind of feeling like weird and like maybe it's like the shadow period because there's another retrograde coming like another mercury retrograde coming and that happens but like i knew that something like this could happen but i just didn't know if it would because you just don't know with these things but like people have been entering my life new people and i don't think like in a romantic way like i think it's really just more on like some friend stuff but it is a challenge sometimes when new people enter my atmosphere and i'm not comfortable with them yet and so it's kind of like a challenge with myself to not to not like read into them too much and not worry so much about like how they are perceiving me if that makes sense but i am happy to say that like even with people entering my atmosphere i am like so focused on like my i guess my purpose my journey right now that like it's it's not enough to make me like falter like that it would be a challenge but like it's not enough to make me like veer off the path that i'm on and I think that was the last thing that I was going to talk about was just like new people entering my life and stuff like that and how I am going about that and how I am processing that while being on this journey. It's it's interesting, but I'm going to stick to what I'm doing. Wow, I'm just looking at myself right now in the camera and like I just look so starkly different from like the last video where I was very much Barbie and now I'm giving very much wood creature. But I love it though. I love it. I peep the ears. Like I said, I love it. I'm excited to see how different I look in the next couple of months when you guys see me again and we talk about this. But I'm doing fine. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it does suck still, but like... I'm really going through this. Like, it's, it's happening. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. I'm gonna finish these donuts. So, see you in the next video or I'll see you in a couple of months for my next update.